Well, inspired by the Canadian trucking envoy, are protests in New Zealand not anti-vaccine protests, but anti-vaccine mandates. Um, interesting that this has become such a charged issue, but the media doesn't seem to be making it such. Um, it seems that protests there have turned violent. Yeah, they're violent because the police are clamping down on these protesters on in the grass in Wellington, New Zealand, right on, you know, right outside of Parliament. I've heard from a number of viewers who've written to me saying, Clayton, Natalie, please get this message out there about this story because the mainstream media is ignoring it. Well, we are going to cover it. And it's an incredibly important story because of the violence that's unfolding, inspired by the Canadian truckers, inspired by this message, which is now working in Canada. The people of New Zealand are saying, we don't want this. We do not want these mandates. Do not tell us what to do with our bodies. The government should stay away from our bodies. And you see, look at this. This is just disturbing. Uh, one viewer sent, said she took this photo right outside of where these protests were happening. This police officer is doing push-ups on this protester's head. Let me zoom in on that. This is incredible. I mean, this is incredible. Like, here, stay down. And I'm going to do push-ups on your head to show you that I'm in charge. Yeah, that's incredibly upsetting. Or here, I'm just going to pour water. I'm just pouring water all over you. I'm pouring water all over you, you know, and these... Well, what's that? What's I don't know. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Maybe well, that's wrong a friend. With that? Maybe. Do we know? We don't know. I if, mean, these protesters, after being pepper sprayed, are like, you know, having to be pouring oh, water over their heads to like, get... Oh, that's what it looks like, that they were exposed to some kind of toxins. Yeah, they're exactly. To, um, they're saying now they're in their third day of holding up in front of... Uh, where is it? The Wellington legislature grounds. They're vowing to stay until COVID restrictions are lifted and over 40 people, 50 people, sorry, have been arrested so far. They're fl they tried flushing us out with sprinklers. They turn on sprinklers, pouring them out. So try to like drown them out. Look at this photos of this, like they're putting sprinkler setups so that they're being flushed out all the while. And, and this is interesting. Wasteful. Trevor Millard uh, stands behind the labor government's controlled media packed with a smile as police remove protesters from the grounds of parliament, the dismantling of a democracy overseen by a very creepy man, uh, as posted by uh, this Twitter account um, on yeah, just uh, just yesterday. Um, as he stands there, just sort of watches this unfolding, like clean, clean these people out, get rid of these people. Um, and here, I'm going to put up some disturbing video. So I'm warning you, this is disturbing. But this is what's happening there, folks. This is what's happening for people that are wanting uh, freedom. And they're being forcefully removing, you know, forcefully removed hundreds of protesters camped outside of parliament to protest COVID-19 vaccine mandates and all of these new restrictions. You know, here's a country which is sticking to this like zero COVID policy. Yeah. We're seeing it in China. I mean, you can they have watch some of the strongest uh, COVID rules in place, which, you know, made them this sort of vaccine or um, pandemic hero. Right. She was seen as ago. like a darling, like of like, a, you know, and she won in a landslide reelection. Right. Right. Like they New Zealand locked down and, you know, people I mean, if you really believe that the unvaccinated are making you unsafe, then you should want to go nowhere near them. You shouldn't want to rough them up like this, right? Right. So clearly they don't believe that. The, the science now shows us that unvaccinated people spread COVID to the same degree of vaccinated people. So why are we doing this other than to assert power and exactly. ruin that guy's shirt, apparently? I mean, police moved in on Thursday using loud hailers, well, like bullhorns, I guess is what they describe them in New Zealand, to warn off a crowd of about 150 people. They will face arrest unless they leave. Um, and they're say, like activists are saying, hold the line. Do not give up. Do not give up. And that's the message we're seeing from Canadian truckers as well, which is the, like the signs in Canada. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. Don't leave. They call themselves the Beehive. And there are also thousands of demonstrators gathering in Australia as well, um, where the Australian government has now said we will lift quarantine rules and allow travelers once again. Um, so there is some kind of progress uh, but again, you know, this, they're just asking to um, acknowledge the science that, in fact, now vaccinated people and unvaccinated people are equally at risk for spreading COVID um, and that Omicron virility is lower than previous strains of COVID. So can we now have a discussion about leaving our lives again, living our lives again? And uh, clearly, well, and people no. are saying, look, I, I've had COVID. They're saying I've had natural immunity. Why am I being held to these draconian rules? Like, 
again, I mean, come back to this. We come back to this zero COVID policy issue. The, the government is just so concerned that if somebody like Djokovic says, I had COVID, I don't want to get the vaccine and I'm going to come here now um, and play this tournament. They're saying, well, if we let you in, it makes other people think they shouldn't have the vaccine. But isn't there any kind of, you know, admission to be made that every human body is different now, depending on their level of exposure? Right. Um, no. That's, we cannot even discuss that, right? No, it's just everyone get the vaccine and shut up. And well, don't we, you, we have a story in trending. You want to mention it here, which is totally relevant to this yes. around COVID. Um, there is a new study out of the UK that shows that vaccinated people who then later got COVID had a lower immune response of the protein that um, helps you to fight off the infection than people who got COVID without the vaccine. Uh, that is being hotly debated on social media. And experts are saying, actually, this shows that the vaccine is doing its job. Other people interpret, it, to interpret this to say, actually, the vaccine inhibits your body from its natural response. I am not able to make heads or tails of it, but it is concerning. Um, and people are saying, look, if I hadn't had the vaccine, I may have done better with my COVID exposure. And again, this, this merits a discussion that I think politicians are afraid to have. Yeah. Yeah. And I, as we sort of sum this up here, bottom line, this, you know, these guys who are protesting and they're doing it peacefully and they're camped out on the lawn. Maybe they should, these police should learn something from how the Canadian police, I mean, yes, there have been some arrests, minor, but it's been largely peaceful. Right. There's, you know, music being played. There's food being delivered. There's people on the street playing music and having food and just holding the line. And this is doing... not a rubber bullets, tear gas situation, right? right. In, in many ways, you can say this is democracy working. Right. Uh, maybe not with the... Well, person me, who's the head leader, but yeah, let, with, me do, let me do, pro, let me do pushups on your head. That is democracy not working. That's, yeah. you know, if you like this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, we have a membership program for the price of a cup of coffee. Once a month, you can support independent journalism just by going to morninginvest.com slash join. You get access to exclusive videos, plus the ability to join and chat with us live. We really appreciate your subscription and you are supporting independent journalism.